Hello guys, what's up? Guess what? It's time to die. And die, and die, and die, and then die some more, and quite possibly die a little bit more in Dark Souls at Soul Level 1, because this is my ongoing quest to beat Dark Souls at Soul Level 1. And uh, if someone would have asked me many years ago, or not many years ago, but when I first got Dark Souls, if I'm ever, ever going to be able to finish the game at Soul Level 1, I would have gone just... Get out of here, you're insane. That's not even possible. But here I am trying it, and I'm not really doing very well, but hey. That's to be expected. Uh, and we are going to change things up a bit, because I had some issues with the Demon Fire Sage last episode. And, uh, and, and by the way, let me just apologize for cutting the last episode short, because... As you, if you watched it, you, you realized I wasn't having any fun. I was just not feeling it. I really shouldn't have been recording it that day because I was just not having any fun. And I try to avoid to do that, try to avoid record when I'm not really into it because it shows. Not because I play badly, because I'm pretty sure you you are entertained by that anyway. So, uh, But it really shows that I'm not having any fun. So I really try to avoid that. But I had to do that last time because I didn't really have any new episodes to upload so I felt forced to record so again sorry about that I'm gonna try very hard in the future to avoid that to try and keep you entertained my dear viewers um, so we are gonna switch things up a bit as you can see I have equipped my silly ears you know the um, um, what do you call them the crown of dusk Maybe it's not ears. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's wings. Who knows? Who cares? And I also equipped the Bellowing Dragon Crest Ring and equipped some uh, Pyromancy's Fire Orb and Great Combustion because I am gonna burn the Demon Fire Sage to a crisp. Uh, he's actually sensitive to fire, which is a bit surprising, but yeah. So I'm hoping that's gonna go a bit better than uh, my previous attempt with my Lightning Club. So here we are back at the bad breath statues aka the halitosis dragons you guys gotta quit eating all that garlic you stink and why am I fighting you guys I'm not sure because I don't really have to I can just as well run past these guys I suppose but I've started killing you so now I can just finish what I've started let's however run past the um, the uh, Taurus Demon, because I don't feel like fighting, fighting him really at all. He's a bit of a annoying dick. He steals my time. I don't like that. So let's equip Great Combustion and let's try this again! Shall we? Fire Sage, you bastard. I'm gonna block that because it works. 627, holy crap. Ooh, fuck, I didn't realize he was doing that attack. But a heal! I thought it was gonna do is, um... That attack. All right, that is fine though, I'm fine with that attack. That I can manage. I would like if you could just perform your butt slam thing. I would be eternally grateful, so I can heal, maybe. Now I'm doing a beastly amount of damage to this dude. That is pretty damn nice. And I'm thinking he's gonna do that. And I'm not quite sure why the fuck... ...he actually... Why well, sometimes that attack will just go straight through my uh, my shield. I mean, even if I'm aiming it correctly, I still just take damage and freaking die, which is incredibly annoying. But yeah, no, 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 don't do that. Great, combust your ass to death. And now we are going to use my fire orbs, which I think will do reasonable amount of damage as well. I think one more attack. Yep. Finally! Fucking finally! Oh god, that felt pretty good. I didn't expect to have this much problem with this guy. Well, at least in last episode anyway. 
So now we can finally move on and I actually realized I forgot something when I edited the last episode so let's go and pick that up. It's only a soul item but hey, I want to pick up absolutely freaking everything and I'm going the wrong way, I don't know why. I'm supposed to go this way. And fall down there of course and be an idiot. No, that was not quite what I meant to do but yeah, let's. I'm going to edit this out. See you up there. Let's try this again with less fail. <laughs> I was kind of close again. I actually forgot that that, that um, I was fairly close to the to the ledge there. All right, let's get the soul of a brave warrior. And I'm thinking we're gonna have to fall down here, right? Because I can't get up any other way. So I'm thinking fall down on the branch, maybe. And uh, let's go and activate the shortcut and maybe go back and fight Kirk because I managed to screw that up as well last time just a royal screw up episode that but I'm sure you had lots and lots of fun watching it and uh, yeah seeing me die in horrible horrible ways we are gonna go up here I believe and oh really you hit me that's nice that's super nice. I'm gonna heal because these dragon statues or Halitosis dragons can be a tad tricky at times. They can kind of surprise me at times. So let's see. There's another one, I believe, up here. And I always think I can run past this guy, but I can't. So I'm gonna take and uh, move down here and fight him down here. And there is an item coming up. Oh, nope, sorry, there's another one of these guys. How the frick do you... Ah! Hit me, you <laughs> damn thing! Let's heal again. Now, how do you guys feel about fire orbs? I don't like them. Unless, of course, I'm the one firing them, but you don't seem to like them either. That's nice. Save me some time to get this soul of a brave warrior. Splendid! Let's go up and activate the shortcut back to the what's her face, the uh, Quailag, Quailana, Quailana, I think she's called. And I am thinking. I am stinking? <laughs> I am thinking maybe I should come back to life and actually fight what's her face, Kirk! because I kind of want to, just to kind of get it out of the way. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm going to come back to life. Let's just use another humanity. Reverse hollowing. And I'm going to run down and see if we can activate Kirk. I. I still think, uh, or I think you still can get her to summon, or to to appear, even if you have killed the demon fire sage. Uh, but we'll find out. See you down there! I'm gonna edit this out, because there's most likely not much exciting that's gonna happen on the way down, except me running. So see you down there. It seems like uh, I screwed up. Kirk doesn't seem to appear once you've killed the demon fire sage. That is a bit of a shame, but yeah... I really should have done that before I fought the boss, but but hey, never mind. I can live without Kirk's stuff, I think. So let's just go and uh, uh, fight the centipede demon, methinks. We're going to run down there and I will most likely edit this out because it's a pre pretty boring trek. Unless, of course, something exciting happens like me dying or something. Right, nothing terribly exciting happened on the way down here. I managed to avoid the Tyrus demon. Bye bye, have fun. Um, so let's go down this time, I believe, and we are going to fight the centipede demon or whatever the hell his name is. 
And there's going to be a bonfire down there. And I am kind of thinking maybe I should actually kindle it. Because I, I'm i not looking forward to this boss, boss fight, really. Uh, the centipede demon hasn't really been giving me much problems before in, you know, in difficulty, so to speak. But it's a bit of a clusterfuck. It's kind of hard to kind of screw up because you can't really see anything because it's all a mess of legs and tentacles and fire and whatnot and yeah. And given the fact that I haven't got many hit points, I'm guessing uh, it might be a bit of an issue. Let's see. Let's kindle the bonfire. And I was thinking that we might actually summon Solaire, just for the shits and giggles, because not really because he makes the fight easier, it's quite the opposite, because he's, uh, he's mostly an idiot. He just stands around in the lava, wailing his sword around at nothing, and just dying. Only thing he does is kind of to give the boss some more hit points, pretty much. <laughs> so, it's not really simplifying Matt as much. And, oh, hang on, I just realized I forgot to do something. I am actually gonna... Well, I'm going to do two things, pretty much. One, pick up this item that I forgot as usual. And two, I am also going to go and equip Flash Sweat. Which I'm thinking I'm going to be needing to be able to get to uh, the place where I want to fight the Centipede Demon. Because I'm going to go to the right. There's a bit of an area there where you can actually... You have some more space fighting him and... Uh, Getting there is a bit tricky if you haven't got some sort of fire protection, I think, at this level. So I'm hoping I bought Flash Sweat. Let's find out. I think I did, but who knows? Maybe I didn't. Let's attune some magic. Let's see. Flash Sweat. Thank God for that. Anything else I can attune that could be possibly useful? I don't think so. No. Not really. So let's go down and summon Solaire. And Celeste's summon sign can be a bit finicky here. I've had times when I've done everything right and he, his sign doesn't appear. I'm not sure why that happens sometimes, but as I said, he's not a huge help in this fight. He's more of a of an obstacle, or maybe not an obstacle, but he kind of just adds hit points to the boss, making it harder. <laughs> but yeah, if he gets one hit in there, that's nice. So, come on, Celeste. Let's go, we've got some work to do. You've got to stand around in lava and die, and I've got to fight the demon, fire, centipede, or whatever the frick is called. Uh, let's not forget to equip Flash Sweat, and I'm just going to have a bit of a peek around here. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, as well as Flash Sweat, I'm going to put the fire flamestone plate ring on as well, because that should help me a bit. And it's mostly to get over to the right-hand side of the uh, map here. I don't really care otherwise. I don't think it really helps that much. And yes, I've seen the cutscene, thank you very much. And I'm going to skip it. Hope you don't mind, guys. Let's run over here. I took a fair amount of damage there, which is a bit of a shame. So let's heal so I don't screw up. Up. Oh. Come on, Soler. What are you waiting for? Ah, oh, he's a bit of an idiot. He's like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run over here in the lava because it's so much more manly, and I'm, a, I'm a manly sombro. So yeah, whatever you feel necessary, Soler. As long as you get your sunny ass over here, and please bring the centipede demon as well. He's kind of hesitant to come over here. I'm not sure what he's doing, but. Come on, dude. We are gonna run over. Wow, that was kind of fascinating because I wasn't actually... I swear I missed that attack. All right, I'm not quite sure what happened there. I was pretty certain I, I dodged out of the way there, kind of to the right, but apparently I didn't, so yeah. <laughs> Let's try this again. That was really annoying. I didn't really hit him even once. Damaged him for zero hit points. Ah, so let's flash sweat ourselves and hope maybe 
I'm gonna block this time instead, all right? Not, uh, not try to roll because I'm I'm terrible at rolling. But to be fair, I'm pretty certain I did pull off that dodge because I think he rolled another direction there than he was supposed to. That this bloody character. So yeah. <laughs> But let's not blame the game, let's just blame myself, because that might have been the problem. Come on, Solaire! Don't hang around in lava, it's really, really not good for you, I mean, really. And, uh, we're just gonna hang out and wait for the centipede fellow to come over here. Is that really a centipede? I can describe it with, you know, with many words, but centipede would not be one of them, really. Oh, I can't attack that arm. That's a bit of a shame. But let's just... Oh. Roll out of the way, I think, because he will jump. Hopefully not land on me. Oh, no, not that attack. I sincerely dislike that one. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, Sula, come on, do some damage, that's sweet. That's what I like, I like them sweet lightning spears or whatever the hell they are. Oh, he's uh, he's munching on Sula, that's a bit of a shame. Oh god damn it, I missed the tail completely there. Pretty good idea not to uh, lock on when fighting this guy because it's just almost impossible to see anything. What the hell is going on? You got lock on. Oh man, that was not good. Where the hell is he? Oh shit. Almost got him. And that was a bit stupid of me. And now I can't see shit. I can't. Must fucking heal, please. No, this could end very badly. Oh, shit. That should, however, end him. So, one stupid and unnecessary death that I kind of put the blame on the game for. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's not too bad. I was actually expecting to die a lot more here. And let's not forget to equip the very important ring. What is, is it's called orange charred ring. Without that I will be barbecued when going through the lava here, so see much better. Let's barbecue more happy times. So let's go over to the bonfire. And maybe... what the hell? Uh, where am I? <laughs> where the frick am I? Oh, it's over there, I think. Or is it over there? I don't know. Let's see. I think it's over here. Right. And here's Solaire being depressed about his lack of sun. Let's talk to him. After all this searching, I still cannot find it. That's because I stole it from you. <laughs> I actually nabbed the um, sunlight maggot just uh, recently in last episode. Sorry about that, Salam. I hope we are some bros anyway. Uh, what do I want to do? Maybe repair stuff a bit. I've kind of already done that, but let's do it again because the fire seems to be wearing out my my armor. And I think we're going to continue a bit forward here. I'm not sure for how long I've been recording because there's quite a few minutes that's going to be edited out. So I'm just going to continue for a wee bit longer. And now we're going to Lost Isolate. This place just gives me a headache, uh, really. And it hurts my eyes and I don't like it. All of these dra dragon asses with legs. I find them to be a nuisance, pretty much. I can't be bothered fighting them, so I'm just going to leave them alone and I'm going to pick up some stuff. I think it's a 
So, item yet again, and... Where do I need to go? It's all so bright and red and yellow and orange and whatnot. I just... Well, I don't know. Let's go this way. I think it's... The right way to go. And hopefully none will aggro. When I heal... Apparently the, the first version of Dark Souls, these guys had much longer aggro ranges and they were pretty much a complete pain to fight. So people were just like, ah, please, please, from software, fix it. And they apparently did, so they kind of nerfed them a great deal, which I'm, I can't say I'm unhappy about that. Because I can imagine this place being a pain in the royal behind with... Uh, larger aggro ranges. Uh, I'm gonna go the other way around here because I have a feeling I will upset those individuals over there if I go that way. So let's just... Are you alive? You look alive. But apparently you're not. So fine. We're gonna go up and collect, I think, a humanity or possibly a twin humanity or maybe something completely different because I've forgotten what this thingy is. Actually I uh, realized something when I played this map the first time, twin humanities. This is the spawn point for invading phantoms because when I was up here collecting the twin humanities the first time I had a phantom uh, invade me. That's kind of interesting. He just appeared right next to me and I was like what the hell? Uh, and then he killed me, but yeah. Um, so now you know that. Could be useful, I suppose. Let's go and... Uh, open up the... area to the uh, bonfire. And let's just sit down and chillax a bit and have a bit of a wee think about... Uh, how my arrow situation is at the moment, because I'm thinking about using uh, some arrows to deal with uh, what's his face the bed of chaos because I think that would be a good idea so maybe I'm gonna go and buy some more arrows because I've got poisonous arrows and it's kind of a shame wasting them but I think this is a good spot anyway to end the video because we are I think up to a decent amount of time so I hope this video was more entertaining I certainly had a lot more fun and I'm gonna record another one straight away uh, after I've gotten hold of some uh, arrows and uh, I'm just gonna say thank you for watching hope you enjoy the video don't forget to comment subscribe and all that stuff and I will see you hopefully at least in the next video bye